It is a welterweight matchup between Alan Jobin and Omori Akmedo. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jiu-jitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Or... You ready? All right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick -em fight according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers thus far. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well rounded They have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. Well, he told us on Thursday, you don't get paid to fight 15 minutes. To that end, early takedown is there. His ideal fight is a grind as ugly as he can make it. It's better for him. And with this early takedown, he ensures that he can start to wear the gas tank for a long time. Back to his feet. Nice leg kick lands. He'll engage in a single collar tie. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, he's going to shut your body off. These guys throwing early. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? In the tie clinch, look for the knees to start. Wow. Akhmedov gets caught by that straight punch. Beautifully landed by the opposition. Punch coming, it's blocked. Right hook to the body. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head. He's very accurate, he's very fast, and he has a real confidence every time he throws his punches. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Stuffs the takedown. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Slips. Can't take many of those. Better check. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Pretty good right hand. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. 
Single power timeout. that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. Akhmedov's back in full mount. Oh, it looks like he's... Trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range, so suddenly he'll change his stance. And he landed the right hand there. Nice head kick. Oh, there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. He is throwing a fast, straight car jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. And now he's got oh, the hip tosses into the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Oh. And he's out. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape, or maybe look for a Kimura here. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why. He's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Just been... Strike more flush than he did right there, and 
I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result 